Nebraska Orthopedic Hospital is dedicated to the complete care and treatment of the patient. This video is intended to educate you on the proper use of crutches. For further instruction, please do not hesitate to contact us at 402-609-1600. Before practicing the use of crutches, it is important that they are fit for use specifically, as crutches come in a variety of sizes. If you have a set of crutches or are borrowing from someone, verify the height range and adjust accordingly. When standing tall, there should be a two-finger gap between your armpit and the top of the crutches. Your wrist should be even with the hand grips when your arms hang at your sides. When using the crutches, your arms should be slightly bent at the elbows. Do not lean on the crutches or let your armpits rest on the pads. This may cause numbness and loss of muscle strength. When walking with the crutches, keep a wide but comfortable base of support. Before walking, be aware of your weight-bearing status. This is the amount of weight that you can safely put on your leg after surgery and should be determined by your doctor. Do not advance your weight-bearing status until instructed to do so by your physician or physical therapist. The different weight-bearing stages consist of weight-bearing as tolerated. You may place as much weight as you can tolerate through the injured leg. Partial weight-bearing. You may place up to 50% of your body weight onto the injured leg. Toe touch weight-bearing. Allow only the toe of the foot to touch the floor for balancing purposes only. Non-weight-bearing. Do not apply any weight through the injured leg. Again, your physician or physical therapist will inform you of your current stage and when it's safe to advance to a different stage. When sitting, use a sturdy, high-seated chair with armrests. To sit down, first back up until you feel the chair with the back of your legs. Hold both crutches on the side of your injured leg and grab the armrest or side of the chair with your free hand. Lower yourself onto the chair and slide back if necessary. To stand, keep your crutches in one hand and grab the armrest or the side of the chair with the free hand. Lean your shoulders forward and push yourself up using your good leg and arms. When climbing up or down steps, remember this rule. Up with the good and down with the bad. This is meant to remind you to go up the stairs with the non-injured leg and down with the injured one. You may use one crutch or both, depending on whether there is a handrail. If there is a handrail, use one crutch on the opposite side of the railing and brace yourself on the railing with the other hand. To go up the stairs, align yourself closely to the stairs. Start by placing your good leg on the first step. Push through the good leg to bring your body upright, stepping next with the operated leg and crutches last. To go down, place the crutch or both crutches on the step below you. Step down, leading with the operated or injured leg and follow with the good leg. In order to ensure the best possible experience with your crutches, please note the following. Be sure to keep all walkways free of clutter or cords. Have someone pick up all the throw rugs to ensure you don't slip. As able, contain pets that may become anxious with your change. Arrange your household to keep the items you may need handy and minimize stairs if possible. Use a backpack, fanny pack, apron, or pockets to carry needed items to keep your hands free. Plan ahead. Allow for rest breaks and restroom trips. And lastly, during your recovery, it will be important to get up with your crutches periodically and walk about to promote circulation. Thank you for choosing Nebraska Orthopedic Hospital. If at any time you have a question or a concern, please do not hesitate to contact us at 402-609-1600.